Hey everybody, welcome back to Be Better on Purpose with Dr. Darrell L. Jones. I will bless the Lord at all times, and His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord, and the humble shall hear of it and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt God's name together, for this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you so much for tuning in to Be Better on Purpose with Dr. Darrell L. Jones. I'm so excited and delighted that you have tuned in to this video. And while you're here, hit that subscribe button. Like this video, leave comments, and share it with your family and your friends. Today, I want to talk about the three ways to stay motivated toward your purpose when no one believes in you. Have you ever felt like no one believes in you? Especially when taking on a larger than life task that seems impossible. Without support, it makes it easier to quit and go back to a normal life. But you cannot let others choose the outcome of your life. If you are truly passionate about turning your dreams and purpose into a reality, you can do it and let no one convince you otherwise. And this is how you stay motivated when no one can see your vision. In addition to realizing you need clarity to stay motivated in pursuit of your big goal of purpose, you have to get clear about what you're trying to accomplish and why you're trying to accomplish it. Why are you doing it? It's more important than what you are doing. And as motivational speaker Eric Thomas said, if your why don't make you cry, then that's not your why. You should cry when you think about why you are here and the big magnitude of the responsibility that you have to see it through. That's why it's important that you write it down, affirm it, and review your purpose vision every single day until it becomes that purpose. And the first step in doing so is you have to follow the footsteps of successful people who are living in their purpose. Unless you are trying to live up under a rock, chances are someone has already done what you want to do or at least some version of it and that should be extremely motivating to you because that's good news. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. Instead of trying to do it all on your own, you should start modeling what they did and learn from them where possible. Read their books, buy their course, or hire a professional in the field that you feel your purpose is directing you toward. And if it's at all possible, try to contact the person you are modeling directly. You will be amazed at how far genuine passion will get you. I believe if you can find three to five people who are doing what you want to do, start following them on social media if you're not already doing so. And then reach out to them, learn from them, and most importantly, Make up your mind that you're going to work just as hard and or harder than they did. Study them. And soon enough, you will end up being one of them. And I'm sure they all thought when they first started off about the criticism they received, the endless amount of work, the endless amount of energy that it took. But when you make it big, you can give back by helping the next person achieve their purpose. There are a few people who I constantly study their work. And you might have heard of some of them. Miles Monroe, Jim Rohn, Coach Stormy Wellington, Felicia Hatcher, Zig Ziglar, Inky Johnson, Sarah Lewis, John Maxwell, Priscilla Shira, and John Gordon. Those are just a few of the people among many who works I study I read their books, I follow them on social media if they're they available on social media. 
I believe in trying to find out what is it that they are doing and how is it that I can do something similar but with my own fingerprint on it and make it what it is supposed to be for me. The second step is celebrate the small wins. Celebrate the small victories. When no one believes in you, it's up to you to create your own momentum. Small wins are crucial when you're trying to do something massive. And while it's easy to skip the small wins, your mind is actually craving the adrenaline hit that you get from each small victory. I believe that each day before you go to bed, try and write out three wins for the day. And whether it's starting that business, writing that book, getting that degree, or whatever else it may be, it's a great habit to build momentum and confidence within yourself. You don't wanna forget your small wins. As a matter of fact, forgetting your small wins and focusing only on the fact you haven't made it yet or achieved your current goal will set you up for failure. So small wins over time lead to massive accomplishments. My third point, make it a regular habit of meeting new people. Find people who are most likely to support you and your purpose. And whether it's finding a Facebook group, attending a seminar, or watching the Be Better On Purpose with Dr. Dara L. Jones videos on YouTube, because as I've started doing all of these videos and selling my books and selling my t-shirts, all because I'm trying to get you and any and everybody else who will listen and view these videos and read these books, I want everyone to be able to discover their purpose. So I get momentum increases and my attitude shifts dramatically just knowing that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing and I'm in the will of God and God is using me to help show others just like someone showed me how to discover my purpose i want to show you how to discover your purpose and remember to be a champion and discover your purpose you must believe in yourself when no one else believes in you and yes we know that weapons may form against us but they shall not, they cannot, and they can't, and they won't prosper against us because I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Thank you so much for tuning in to Be Better On Purpose with Dr. Darrell L. Jones. Hit that subscribe button for me. Like this video, Share this video with your family and your friends. Well, until we're together again, be better on purpose with Dr. Daryl L. Jones.